Okay, hello, hello. It's a full body Pilates sculpt class, a couple of options for cardiovascular work. If you don't like the cardio burst, that's okay. I always recommend either making it low impact or taking that opportunity to do a plank hold. So that being said, well, let's get started. I'm going to ask everyone to have today um, a pillow and an access to a chair or an ottoman for some leg and plank work. So we'll start with our pillow. I have it in between my hands. I'm gonna come into a wide plie. My heels turn in, my toes turn out. And from here, I'm gonna turn around. Hip goes back as this hand pushes in. I'm gonna go press and press. And I wanna focus on my obliques, my lats, my serratus anterior, little pec action, right? A little bicep. Just 30 seconds more. Basically 35 second, or I'm sorry, 45 second uh, movements. We'll even out. <sighs> nice and long through the spine. Shoulders are down, ribs are in. Here's my last 12. And again, pressing not so much with my arm strength, but with my core. So it's like my core is pushing my pillow. Here we go in four, three, two, and one. I take it up and swing it down, up and swing up and swing and i'm going to show you from the side so you see my butt goes back my chest goes forward so my spine is always long I'm pulling the belly in reaching my collars forward my sit bones back good and i stay in that plie i'm trying to get my thighs my legs my glutes all all the things i want this to be a jiggle free shelter in place. <laughs> Here we go. Last 15 seconds. We're going to hold that plie. We're going to come to the other side. I'm just going to turn so you guys can see me. <sighs> Last five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Press. So now this arm is pushing into my pillow and my hip stays back. So I'm trying to work the hip stabilization. So I'm rotating from the waist. And right about here, my arms are getting a little warm. Right, because I've been holding onto this pillow for quite some time. I mean, not quite some time, less than two minutes, but still. So we don't have to take away from my heroic efforts here, pushing a pillow. Last 25 seconds. Use the exhalation. Snap the belly in the thing. Right, that Pilates exhalation. Let's go last. 10 seconds. We're gonna take it down. We're gonna take it down this time. We're gonna straighten the legs and bend deeply so it's a little more cardiovascular. In four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. Swing, swing, swing. Swing, and I'm taking my butt way back, way back. I want to go real low, a little lower than before, right? Because now I'm getting that up and down, so I'm creating that stretch and that tone through my legs. Sitting bones are your north star, so when my sit bones are down and up, or sorry, down and up, that is contradictory. <laughs> when they're low and pointing down, my head is forward and pressing up, my six bones move back and up. My head moves forward and down. The last 10 seconds, we're on the floor for some happy little abs, just like the Bob Ross hip exercise. Happy little abs. Here we go for four, three, two, one, and let's take it on down. So, I have access to my couch here. So I'm gonna have my legs on my couch. Actually, it's gonna be easier for you guys to see if I use my handy dandy and mobile ottoman. So here we go. Feet on my ottoman and reach my fingers forward. Come back, stretch back, lift my hips up, hold. Three, two, one, take my hips down. Arms up, reach up, press my heels down, press your heels down. Three. 
two, one. Lower down nice and slow. Reach my arms back, press my heels down, lift my hips. Using my hamstrings. Three, two, one. Lower down, arms come up. Pull your belly in, lift, press your heels down. Your heels are gonna wanna lift off. Keep your heels pressing down. Three, two, let's do that three more times. Lower down, reach your arms. Sink your ribs, lift your hips. <laughs> Slowly lower down, keep the heels pressing and reach. So you're always using your hamstrings. Jackson, this is not your time. <laughs> lower down, keep pressing your heels, keep pressing your heels, keep pressing your heels, and boom. You keep pressing your heels, look what you got. Lower it down. Reach your arms forward, curl it up, keep pressing your heels, press your heels, press your heels. Whew. Good. Last time, last time. Lower down, you're pressing your heels, you're lifting your hips, everything is working. Good. And take it down, reach it up, press your heels, press your heels, hold it here. I'm gonna come forward and back. Forward and back just tiny, right? I don't want to dump into my low back, so I'm really trying to lift and I'm pressing my heels down like it's my job. Which, you know, to be honest, I'm a fitness teacher, so yes, that is my job. Let's get two. Last one. And let it go. All right, feet on the floor, hands behind the head. And, I'm sorry, grab your pillow. So, um, I did this the other day in class. Feet are pressing down. I'm gonna squeeze my pillow, but I'm gonna keep my hips down on the floor. So. Squeeze your pillow, press your feet straight down into the floor. So you're really feeling it wrap through the inner hamstrings, the inner thighs, and you'll feel it into the hamstring attachments. So I'm pressing my feet straight down. Hands are behind my head, just so I'm getting a nice accessory stretch through my chest. But I'm trying to pull my ribs in, that's hard for me. So if you ever see me doing something that I'm not telling you to do, uh, one, it's because I'm, I'm human, and <laughs> two, it's because I'm busy telling you guys I'm not really paying attention. I'm going to try. I always try to have the best form that I can when I videotape these things. But, you know, it's, I'm way better in 3D. Let's <laughs> go pull your ribs in. Pull your ribs in, but don't let your tailbone tuck. So that's kind of hard to do, right? So, and if you're noticing that you're gripping a lot through your inner, or through your hip flexor, root your feet down, squeeze, and then focus on this kind of coiling, the spiraling action from the soles of the feet moving up the posterior in spiral line. Let's go for four, three, two, hold it here, hands behind the head, I'm lifting up. I'm gonna bring my legs to table and I'm gonna lower them down and up. Legs to table and lower them down. I'm here for about six more, All right? For lucky number eight. My head doesn't change, but that's the goal, right? My head's not changing. My belly's pulling in, squeezing the mat. Take a look at your heels when you bring them up. Don't let them knock in or out. It's really going from knee to heel, right? It's not doing any um, deviation from that straight line. Think if you were on skis, you wouldn't want those skis to cross in front or in back. We got two more. Hip, hip, hooray. Good, last one. We're gonna hold it up here. I'm gonna squeeze my knees and bring my elbows together. Inhale, inhale, let's go for a five, for a four. Still try not to bring the heels together just for this. Last three, last two, last one. Drop your feet down, drop your head down, lift your hips and pulse your hips, pulse your thighs. Right here is where your inner thighs are hopefully feeling a little more solid, a little more stable. I always call these like my Beyonce legs because you know when Beyonce walks on to the stage her big thigh length boots, hair whipping in the wind, and it's just a bump, 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 right? That's what we're trying to go for. That's what I'm trying to go for. It's always to feel at least, have my own inner Beyonce on stage, even if it's more like Megan at Equinox. Let's go five. Last four, three, two, hold it up. One, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one, let it go. All right, coming on up, we're gonna turn around. So I love these. Um, 
If you don't, it's debatable. So I'll give you two ways to do it. Two ways to do this. One is, I'm gonna take my foot forward. I'm gonna come down onto my ottoman and up, right? And so, again, I come down and I'm up. Hug, hug, hug. Down, and it's also your core, right? And up, ah! That one got away from me, no judgment, safe zone. This is a safe place. <sighs> Good, squeeze your butt on the way up. Here we go. Let's do three more. <sighs> Good. Remember, you don't have to go all the way down. And if you need your foot, right, you come down, you use your foot, and come up. Let's go one more. So don't worry, there's not one way to do this. <sighs> oh, God. From there, right, right, so that's my right foot. I have that forward. Left leg back, my arms are here. I'm coming down, reaching my arms back, open my chest, swing it up. Forward, open my chest, bring it up. Long, right? Think of how we were doing it when we were doing that froggy plie uh, to full extension. Right, so my chest is forward, my head is back. Good. Belly in, my sits bones, Go back and slightly down. No tucking, it's back. Pelvis is moving, not my back. So you'll notice from the side, I'm not rounding, right? I'm reaching. Let's go two more. Last one, hold here, reach your arms. Tap in and out, in and out, in and out. Here we go for four. Three, two, one, bring it up. And here's our cardio burst. Cardio burst, you can do your jumping jacks, you can do your skaters, you're driving down, driving down, mountain climbers or wide burpees, or plank hold. Here we go. Three, two, your 30 seconds, I've got you timed. So, wherever you are, if you're high knees, mountain climbers, jumping jacks, either way, you're working to your full potential. You're gonna get a 15 second water break after this. Speaking of 15 seconds, you're halfway there. Keep your chest open, whatever you're doing, you're feeling buoyant, right? The energy is lifted, it's not dying. Here we go, last 10. Countdown four, here's my water. Three, two, one, ha. 15 second water break. Mm mm mm. Earn your treat. Okay, right. we're gonna take it back onto the floor before our second set. So, I'm gonna move my handy dandy Ottoman friend out of the way, grab my pillow friend. So here we go. Heels are pressing down. I'm up nice and tall, ribs are in. Arms come here, again I'm gonna twist, center, twist. So remember, this hand presses this hand presses. Let's go four and three and two and one. Now I'm gonna go four. I'm gonna reach it up, 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 press my heels down, press my heels, come halfway down, circle around and come up. And I press, take it halfway down. Circle around, lift it up, and press. Lower halfway down, circle around, la 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 la, and lift. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking of um, the arc barrel, right? So I'm really trying to press my bottom ribs into the floor, and I'm lifting up. So I really want a lot of that oblique action. Good. Um, da -dum, da -da 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 -dum. All right, last one either side. So we're gonna take it over to my right, your left, or looks like your left, or my left looks like your right. This is very hard. And then we're gonna bring it back. So ditch that. From here, I'm gonna take it, reverse table, reach up. I'm going right and left, and left and right. Right and left, and left and right. And what I want to feel 
is that connection my foot has to the floor. So I'm using that hamstring. I'm using the glutes, right? Because it's all still in my brain. I still know that feeling of those bridges, of squeezing the pillow between my knees, of doing my one-legged, um, or my pistol squat prep. Let's go, three more. Last two, last one, release. <sighs> On our way up, second side. So, there's my ottoman, and again, I'm going to try to figure out my camera angles here in this tiny little apartment. So, I'm down and up, right? And so on this side, I'm gonna be honest with this, my right leg, is stronger than my left. So I'm still gonna work on that hug, right? Down, and up. there we go. And then I'm gonna be honest, second, here we go. My knee, when I'm coming up, it wants to go a little pew, 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 because it's not as strong, right? So if you're noticing that you're getting up without your foot, but it's causing your kneecap to rotate, abandon ship. Let's go two more, right? So because that's happening to me, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna work with my body and not against it. Last one. We got those uh, squat or lunges coming up right here. Whew. I can hear that my husband just took our car into the garage, so we're having a cameo. It wouldn't be a class, live or otherwise, a dog or a husband coming in to say hi at one point. So again, I reach my arms up and I press it back. I reach my arms up and I press it back. I right, so my six bones. I want to be in that tabletop just as I was. So if you watch the shape of my spine, it's the same as it was here, right? For our beginning warm up. Good. Down. Yes, Jackson, your father's coming home. Your dad is coming home, Jackson. Dad is coming home. Reach up. Take it down. Good. It's okay, babe. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jackson's really excited to see you. Uh, I'm Jackson. <laughs> Let's go. That's two. Love you. One. We're going to hold it. Reach your arm. Tap in and out. In and out. Uh, just a few more. Bellies in. Try not to let that front knee move, right? It stays exactly where it is in space. Last three, two, one, and pause. Second opportunity for your 30 second cardio burst. So again, if you want to do one, two, three, one, two, three, mix it up. Shh. Shh. Anything you want. 30 seconds on the clock, and here we go. And while you work, I drink seltzer. Because that's the kind of coach I am. Always here for you. 20 seconds left. Last 10 seconds, last 10 seconds. And your countdown. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Water, towel, 15 second break. We're going to come into our wide push ups. Wide push ups, they can be, if you don't like them wide, you take them narrow, but really, times, thumb joint lines up with the nipples and then out, right? So you get that scapular abduction and that chest opening. So here we go. Again, I start with my shins down on the floor. I lean forward so that I can see my thumbs in line with the nipples and pull my low belly in, use my hamstrings to bend my knees, and then I'm down and up. And you can do this on the toes if you want. I personally prefer this one, it's a little easier, and two, it gives me more access to squeezing my thighs together, it makes me feel more into my lower appendages than not. Show the legs squeeze together. Your head moves with your body, so don't let your head dunk down. Look at a point on the floor, just slightly forward of your mat, and keep your vision there. Let's go for five. Last four. 
Shoulders down the back, neck is long, three, ribs are in, two, last one, and press it back. All right, lift up, open the chest, and we're gonna take it, hands onto your chair. I have my ottoman. We're gonna go into our waist and into our triceps. So I have my ottoman, complete with some of my husband's tools, and then I come up, I stick my butt up in the air, right? So first of all, I'll get that because it automatically makes us happy, right? And then I'm going one, two, one, two. So it's kind of like if a leprechaun was at a club and a Cardi B song came on. It's like a leprechaun twerk. You're literally pressing your hands into your chair, leaning your body forward and going up. Right. And you see my arms are staying pretty still because I'm pushing and I'm letting, just as before, I was rotating my chest by my waist. Now you're rotating your pelvis by the waist. Last 10 seconds. You're gonna move your chair, ottoman, couch aside in four, three, two, and one. All right, bring your pillow back. Feet come together, squeeze your feet together, press your feet down, belly pulls in. Lower back, ribs in, arms come back. Lift straight up, good. Come forward, flex your feet, hold. Come up, point your toes, lower. Reach back, ribs in, long line. Stretch, lift, stretch. Arms come forward, lift your head, Straight up, scoop, 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 scoop. Come forward, flex your feet, and fold. Two more times. Point, lower, ribs stay in, arms go back, utilize your core. Arms come forward, press and lift, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Come forward as you flex your feet, hold. Last one, reach it up. Point your toes, your toes reach forward. Arms reach back, fingers reach back, hold, breathe. Arms come over the chest. Lift up, pull the belly in, lift up, lift up. Flex your feet as you go forward, hold for three. Breathe into the back for two. Last one. All right, switching up. Now that pillow comes in between my ankles. I take my hands behind my head. I'm just moving so you guys can see. And I come up. I lower my feet down, pull my knees in, press my legs out, and bring myself up. Reach up forward, pull my knees in, press out, and lift up. Go forward, press in, press out, lift up. Three more. All right, my belly is pulling in, my sits ones are reaching forward as my knees pull in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the pillow. Last two, squeeze the pillow, pull the belly in, 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 in. Whew. Last one, it is warm in here. Pull in, 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 in. Good. And then we go upper body, lower body. Stay where you are, just moving so y'all can see me. Here we go. I'm gonna take my legs back, arms back, chest lifts. Squeeze and reach. Take it, reach it, take it, squeeze it. Take it, squeeze it, take it, squeeze it. And I'm going a little bit faster. You don't have to. We're gonna go slow and slow. Slow, is there a soundtrack? Slow. <laughs> hard to be depressed and listen to this music. Let's get two more. Last one. Good. All right, you guys. We're gonna ditch the pillow. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees. So similar to our crab, we're gonna go mini break dancer. So, I'm here. Think of something between our, our uh, Irish leprechaun, our twerking leprechaun. I'm gonna hop, come up. Look at my hips are low, my chest is up. And I switch, and I switch, right? So this could be 
cardio or you can go down. You can always keep it low, right? If this feels better for your body, you keep it low. But a little more challenge, you go more mobility. Remember, the shoulder is down, so you are working your shoulder mobility. Belly's in. Again, I'm using that standing leg, right? Let's go 10 more seconds. 10 more, just checking our time, okay. Checking our time and making us go boom. Last three, two, come on up to stand. All right. On to standing, hip mobility and thigh work. So, it's my left thigh, but it should appear as your right. Cross over my left foot, or my right thigh looks like your left thigh. So I come straight down. As I come down, woohoo, try not to fall. My butt, ugh, it's pressing back. I'm gonna try to get into the rotator. Then, internally rotate, press my legs straight back, press my foot into my hand, right? So it looks like this. I'll do it from the side so y'all can see. I go into my figure four balance, try to open my hip, Come back, medial rotate, knees to knees. Press back, press my foot into my hand. Belly's in. Good. Take it down. Reach it up. Medial rotation, knee to knee. Push my foot into my hand. Cross, send it back. Bring it up, knee to knee like a flamingo. Take that leg straight back, do not open that hip. You're pushing your foot into your hand. And then taking that cross. Keep going, I'm just gonna talk at you for a second. What I'm doing is I find that external rotation from my thigh hip compression, and then I find its opposite, medial rotation, extension of the thigh at the hip, keeping the belly in, so I'm using my glutes. And really, I'm using my hamstring. Let's go two more times. Take a moment to feel into the whole body and try not to, uh, you know, make it loosey-goosey, right? This isn't some kind of interpretive dance. It's quite literal. After your last one, pause. Here we go, 30 seconds, cardio burst. Again, if you wanna hold your plank, if you wanna do something slower or, right, your body, your right, wide burpees, whatever you wanna do. 30 seconds. Here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. Remember it is whatever you're doing. If you're going fast and furious or slow and steady, just keep mindful of where your bones are in space. How does the soft tissue body work with the dense tissue body? You've got 15 more seconds. Last 10. In four, three, two, and one. All right, 15 seconds, let it go. All right, just get your little leprechaun hips in. <laughs> All right, put the water down, put the towel down if you're taking a break, and we're gonna do our second set, or I'm sorry, second side. So here we go, I cross, I sit back. As I sit back, I'm like reaching my six bones back, come up, rotate that thigh medially, and I press. I open, compress, medial rotate, and press right. As cubic bone is trying to come forward as my leg goes back. So really, not allowing it to go into my low back. And if you can't touch your foot into your hand without going into this extreme lordosis, like um, like if you have a hard time, if you're here, right, or you're here, guess where I'd rather have you here. That range will come in time. Or maybe it won't. That's okay, right? We'll start to use a prop. Good. And remember, your standing foot is important. And I'm doing my best not to let this take me into rotation. And if you'll notice in my body, there is a little bit, right? There's a little bit of that. I'm really trying to offset it by using my obliques, using my chest. And a lot of it, so keep going, I'm just going to talk at you. I have really little limbs. Woohoo! Whoa, I might pull my knuckles 
muscle down or my finger pads then. But you know, a lot of it is this ginormous torso and these tiny little T-Rex limbs. Let's go, let's three. Last two, we're on our backs in one. All right, we've got just about six more minutes of active class and then a stretch, so things to look forward to. I'm gonna take my handy dandy ottoman and I'm gonna do my second set of bridges. So for this, I'm not gonna use my pillow. Instead, <laughs> it's, remember I said there's about six minutes left? It's gonna be about three of abs and three of booty. So, hooks are in. You reach your arms back or up or down, right? If they're down, open your chest and press through so you're getting some tricep engagement. Here we go. Heels are digging in, my toes are up. And they're not up and then off to the side, they're straight up, remember my skis. All right, here we go. I'm lifting my hips, I lower, I release my sits bones, squeeze them together. Release my sits bones, squeeze them together. Open, close. Two more. Open, close. Last one. Open, close. From here, take your chair or take your body away. Scoot yourself back. Feet press on the floor. Here we go. Down, squeeze up. We're going to go back and forth from that just to get that muscle, um, not confusion, but just to keep our bodies guessing. Right, so if you're at a wall, uh, you may need to step away from the wall and then just step a little closer. That's okay, let's go four more. So we're gonna go four on the chair, eight on the floor. Last two, last one. Do not let this be easy, right? And then pull my ottoman towards me and then lift up. Here we go. I'm down nice and slow. Press. Down nice and slow. Oh, one more time, nice and slow. Bring it back, oh my goodness. Immediately press up, press your feet into the floor. My feet are pressing straight down. There's no sensation that my feet are pressing down and forward because that's a different use of my muscle. Right? Instead, you're gonna press the balls of your feet. Oh yeah, sorry, I smelled at something. I'm burning crumpets. <laughs> oh, my husband. <laughs> Okay, let's do. Save your crumpets, baby. I did. Oh, good. And peace was restored onto the land. Last time here, last time here. Bring yourself in. We're gonna pulse this time. So first we're coming up for a four. Three. Last two. Hold it here, pulses for eight. Seven, ribs are in six. Five, use your hamstrings for three. Two, one, lower down. So if we're doing four and eight, we're doing eight and 16. So here we go. Press up and down, up. And I'm pushing my feet down like I'm doing my pistol squat um, prep, yeah? Or my, uh, my lunges. So my footprint is so important. Here we go, four more. And then we're gonna hold at the top. We're gonna be pressing our feet down. So think feet press down, hips lift. Last two, our 16 pulses come right here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and again for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower it down. All right. If your legs are at a wall, keep them on the wall. Um, mine are at my dickadoo. So I'm gonna have my legs. I'm not locking my knees, so I'm not letting it be dead. I'm pushing a little bit into my heels, so I'm still using surprise surprise my hamstrings. So grab your pillow. Grab your pillow. Sorry, Jackson is using it as his as his bed. I'm gonna bring it up from here. I'm gonna come straight up, twist down. Up, down, up, lower, and press up, come down, up, down, up, and lower, good, lift, press, up, press, up, and 
and then we've got two more, two more. So again, remember how we started this class. All right, I come up, my hand presses, presses. Last time, come on up and press and press and down. All right, here we go. Hands behind the head. This leg comes up, curling up. I'm going to extend that leg out, tap it down, press into my ottoman. Press into my ottoman. Press into my ottoman. And as I'm pressing, I'm pulling my belly in. So what's happening is my belly is pulling in to get that press. So it's hamstring and low belly. We go for four. We're gonna add on. In three, last two, last one. Hold here, reach your arms and press. My foot presses, presses as I reach for four, three, two, and one. Pull my knee in, hand, right, my right hand on my right knee, left hand on my left shin, lift my elbow up, and I switch, 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 boom, ba, ba, boom, create that evenness. Remember, my legs are not going in and out, they're going straight forward and back. So I do not rotate at my knee, or my hip, or my ankle. Four, and three, last two, and one. Bring it down. Let your head release. Take it side to side if you need to. Last exercise is our second set. <coughs> Pardon me. Hands behind the head. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. My bottom leg goes press and press and press. So my whole belly's pulling in again. Sometimes since I'm not focusing because I'm ducking, I could feel a little more um, possibility there on my part. But, um, you know, yeah, I'm here for you. I'm here for you guys, not for me. It's good too. And one, hold, reach, and press, press, press. So that foot comes down. Eight, seven, here it is. Last time we're gonna go double leg stretch. In four, three, two and one pull it in pull it in both legs are even i reach and i press i curl up a little higher reach press curl up a little higher reach and press let's go four more this is it and press three more and press two and press last one and press let it go ha knees go side to side Take your stretch. Right, find the easy breezy movements here. And since we have um, a chair or an ottoman, or even if you didn't have any of those and you were just kind of going because you're in some really stark uh, minimalist cell, that's fine. You can use a wall, right? So if you're if you're in that cell, when I'm apologizing, unless that's like your taste, <laughs> you're gonna reach your arms up and hang, right? If you, like I, have furniture, you're gonna rotate your thighs in, reach your chest, I'm gonna press down, I'm gonna pull my ribs in, but lift my chest up so I'm not, if you can see, I'm not in that kind of lazy lordosis, but I'm also not in that rounded place. All right, my sits bones are kind of back here, my ribs are back here, my chest is lifted, All right? Hands are down, I'm using this. I'm gonna crawl, my hands down. Good, from here, I'm gonna take this hand, crawl underneath. I'm trying not to let anything change in my head, so it's still rotation. And now I can see myself in the mirror, in my doo -doo, right? So I'm not gonna be here because then what's happening, it, it's broken, right? So instead, I'm focusing on rotating my whole spine together. And then I breathe. Especially in these days of COVID-19, right? I think it's so important to Train the lungs. I'm not teaching. Well, you know, I'm not teaching in public anymore, so there goes all my breathy bike rides because I don't have a bike because I can think that I've been a pandemic. So anytime I get an opportunity to stretch my lungs, it's a welcome practice. One more time. Good. Bring it up. 
reset, ribs in, I'm not tucking my tail, right, so if I need to bend my knees because of tight hamstrings, that's okay, if you need to sit up on something, that's fine, ribs in, chest open, I'm going to walk, 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 I'm not going because I'm so, because I can't, right, because this is lazy, it's just, it's ego when you want to go that far, unless you're really getting something out of it, in which case, who am I to judge you, right, that's not my, it's not my job, no three bob, that's not my job, but I want to go to where I feel like I have a lot of integration, integrity. And I take this hand. I crawl, 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 crawl. And I can't see myself, so I just want to feel it into that my neck is in line with the rest of my body. So hopefully that's the case. And if you're like, hmm, it's not, you're a liar. Right? Then just know I tried. Big breath in. Exhale. Big breath in. Exhale. Right, force the breath in. Twist are a lot easier to expel breath out of, but deep breathing through twists, I think, offers so much that we don't always focus on. Let's go one more time. Exhale. Bring it back to center. Pause one more time. This time, last stretch, I'm going to bend my elbows out. Press and come up. Out. Press and come up. Last time. Bend my elbows out. Hold here. Lift my chest. Hold for three. My shoulders are down like a vacuum seal for two. And one. And let it go. Great work. Hope everyone had a positive time with that. I know I sure did. Happy workouts and see you soon.